pinch a disappointing result and a disappointing day all round really how do you assess that one no yeah i think maybe other than one game at home this isn't the first time we've been well and truly beat in my opinion um you know, we can look at chances when it was one nil that we possibly could have took and the game was different but you know, over the balance of play I think 3-0 flattered us a bit to be honest and uh, yeah we, we, we second best all over the pitch um, and they're a really good side um, looked a bit like men v boys today um, and yeah we've got to find a way to, to compete in these games um, you know, whenever a team seems to play football against us um, we seem to struggle with that to be honest um, so yeah, like Dallas are going to, have to play on Tuesday, so we've got to find a way and be competitive. Uh, where do you think it went wrong today? Was it just them that outclassed you, or um, quite simply, um, one nil? We have a very, very good two chances. Don't take them. Dubious penalty. We should deal with it. Makes it two nil, and then it's really game over. To be honest, um, and that's that's where it is, isn't it? I mean, that's the that's the crux of the game right now. Um, we're not our best. Conceded from. Um, a, fr a free kick, which we've been defending, defending quite well throughout the season, and probably got a bit complacent because we just feel it's going to be offside every time. And you know, it wasn't; it was a good run, and then we don't defend the middle of the goal, which is why we have all them bodies in there. Um, and then, yeah, like I say, a full second half with some little tactical tweaks, um, we seem to have momentum and create some chances. And then, you know, you, you give the penalty away. Um, and then it's 2 0, and, and then from there, you know, it could have been 3 4 5, where we still want to try and have a go and get in the game. We owe that to the fans that turned up with brilliant coming numbers, stayed with us, keep supporting the team, um, and we owed it to keep going and try and get something out of the game. But, um, you know, I think, um, you know, like I say, it was a, it was a fair attraction, they were, they were better than us in all departments. Uh, on a positive note, uh, Finley Chadwick today made his league debut and obviously made his full debut in, uh, in midweek. Uh, how's he progressed? Yeah, no, he's done well when he comes on, just plays without fear, just wants to get on the ball, make things happen. And I think we've got two men at the moment that are you know, playing with fear um, for whatever reason. It's a tricky period, um, you know, young young players and that. But, um, yeah, no, consistency, consistency um, is, is important, isn't it? You know, if you judge on the one of 10 games if you're 7, 8 out of 10 in those 10 games and you know, you're, you're ready for the level one I just question whether we've got any that or enough that are consistent enough over 10 games and then finally looking ahead to midweek the test uh, Dulwich Hamlet at home how, how are you looking ahead of that yeah, one? yeah one of our, our toughest games of the season play some good football against us um, he's lucky to get out there with a one nil win um, so it's a real, real tough game but you know we can either sit and hide or we can roll our sleeves up and, and, and dare to be counted uh, you know, I think all the fans want to see at home is us work hard run hard and you know if it's not quite happening for us on the ball for a reason and we're not quite taking our chances um, at least they're going to get that and I think that's the least that the, the, the fans expect so you know what you want to see Cheers Hench Thank you